In the name of Jesus, good morning. morning. Welcome to the house of the Lord, and we pray his blessing upon us as we gather around his word and his meal. I didn't have anybody mention any special announcements this morning or prayer requests, uh, so I get to make my own. (laughs) One of the things that uh, I was thinking about this week was uh, what Einstein says, you know, the existence of darkness does not disprove light. The existence of cold does not disprove heat. The existence of cloud does not disprove the sun. <laughs> he didn't say that one. But driving in this morning, I was thinking, boy, it's cloudy. I'm glad you're here. Uh, and we're looking at the light of Christ today. Uh, and there's so many different ways the scriptures come at that with uh, Christ. Uh, and what he does for us. Um, and one of those things is uh, it's a healing balm. Uh, the light does. Our closing hymn picks up that theme with there's a balm in Gilead, and that melody will be introduced to you during the offering. With that, uh, We will sing our opening hymn, The People That in Darkness Sat. The people that in darkness In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. O Almighty God, merciful Father, I, a poor, miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities with which I have ever offended you and justly deserved your temporal and eternal punishment. But I am heartily sorry for them and sincerely repent of them. And I pray you of your boundless mercy and for the sake of the holy, innocent, bitter sufferings and death 
of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to be gracious and merciful to me, a poor sinful being. Upon this, your confession, I, by virtue of my office as a called and ordained servant of the word, announce the grace of God unto all of you. And in the stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I will tell of your name to my brothers. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. For kingship belongs to the Lord. All the prosperous of the earth eat and worship. Posterity shall serve him. They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Lord, have mercy upon us, Christ, have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy upon us. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, good will toward men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee. We glorify Thee, we give thanks to Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takes away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takes away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, Art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, Mercifully look upon our infirmities and stretch forth the hand of your majesty to heal and defend us through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Old Testament reading for the third Sunday after the Epiphany is from the ninth chapter of Isaiah. <clears throat> there will be no gloom for her who was in anguish. In the former time, he brought into contact the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the latter time, he has made glorious the way of the sea, the land be beyond the Jordan, 
Galilee of the nations. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, on them has light shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as they are glad when they divide the spoil. For the yoke of his burden and the staff for his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, all nations. For great is his steadfast love toward us. Ascribe to the Lord the glory to his name. The reading is from the first chapter of First Corinthians. I appeal to you, brothers, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree and that there be no division among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same judgment. For it has been reported to me by Chloe's people that there is quarrelling among you, my brothers. What I mean is that each of you say, I follow Paul, or... I follow Apollos, or I follow Cephas, or I follow Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you except Crispus and Gaius, so that no one may say that you were baptized in my name. I did baptize also the household of Stephanus. Beyond that, I do not know whether I baptized anyone else. For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with words of eloquent wisdom, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. 
For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the reading of the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the fourth chapter. Glory be to thee, O Lord. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew into Galilee, and leaving Nazareth, he went and lived in Capernaum by the sea in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali, so that what was written by the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, the way of the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people dwelling in darkness have seen a great light. And for those dwelling in the region of the shadow of death, on them a light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to preach saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. While walking by the sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make of you fishers of men. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in the boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. And he went throughout all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria, and they brought him all the sick, those afflicted with various diseases and pains, those oppressed by demons, epileptics and paralytics, and he healed them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee and the Decapolis, and from Jerusalem and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Let us confess our faith together using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen.
hearts be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. The people dwelling in darkness have seen a great light. For those dwelling in the region and shadow of death, on them a light has dawned. This is our text. This is Jesus quoting from the Old Testament, prophet Isaiah, and announcing that the kingdom of God is at hand. He calls us to repentance, come back to God, to the light. I mentioned earlier that there's a pretty famous story that Einstein was sitting in class and his professor was trying to rattle the kids and say there is no God because there's so much evil in the world and he came up with that answer that the presence of cold does not disprove heat, the presence of dark does not disprove light, the presence of death does not disprove life. The presence of evil does not disprove God. And as we think about it, it quite the opposite is true. Cold, dark, death, evil, these are all the absence that positive energy, that force, that light of God. There's a very interesting phrase there that came up several times, uh, the shadow of death. How could death cast a shadow. What does this mean? Jesus began his ministry there with that phrase, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, turn back, come back to the Lord. Turn around. Those people that were living in darkness need to turn around to the light. Darkness doesn't really exist in Einstein's example. It's merely something that's shading us, has gotten away. We're in the shadows. If you're not facing the light, you're looking at your own shadow. You see all your sins and the despair there. But when we turn around to the light, we see God's Mercy and grace and his forgiveness in the darkness is gone. If we're looking at the shadow of death, we're looking at what is left after our mistakes and problems. There is a deep darkness and despair. For those dwelling in that darkness, in that sh shadow of death, in the valley of the shadow of death, light has come. And that light is Jesus. The star of my life is Jesus. The wise men saw the star and they knew that the Savior was born. They followed that star to Jesus. The shepherds we're out in keeping watch at night, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they followed those words to Jesus. And they went and told others that it was just as they had been told. God's word was true. Revelation, it talks about the new Jerusalem. In the new Jerusalem, there's no need of a sun or a moon, for the Lamb is the light. 
The Lamb is the light of the city of God. When we're with Jesus, we're with the light of righteousness, we're with his mercy and grace. And as there are those cases where a little bit of sunshine can help, I think even when babies are born with John's disc, they used to try to set them in the, the light. They used to come to church and find those purple windows, get some of those ultraviolet lights, and they'd set the children in the light and they would recover. All kinds of things change when the light shines upon them. And when the light of Christ shines upon them, sin is death is done away. One of the signs that Jesus was the light was that the sick, the paralyzed, they were coming to Christ and their sickness and their diseases were healed. The way Isaiah put it, there be no more gloom for those who were in anguish. When we are consumed with the shadow of our sin and the darkness of death. We're looking in the wrong direction and we need to turn again to God's word and his promise to Jesus, to the light of Christ. And there we have joy, the forgiveness of sins. Christ, the Lamb of God, the Lamb who was slain, the Lamb who hung on the cross for you, and for me, has taken on death, has defeated darkness, and has won for us that righteousness, that word of grace, that word of mercy, that our sin is forgiven. The kingdom of heaven is near. He is the one who will make of us Fishers of men, sharers of the good news, bearers of the light. What joy, what gladness, what life and light. We're with Jesus. The word that created the heavens and the earth, the word that says your sin is forgiven, the word that says come to me. I will be with you. Another way we talk about death is only a shadow or a mist. It doesn't have the power it once had when the curse of sin was death because now it is defeated. When we have that light of Christ, No, this is only a shadow, what we see here. And we look forward to the day that we will see him face to face. And yet he, even here and now, we have that joy. We have that hope. We have that peace. We have that mission that we are his people, that he is good. Righteousness dwells in the land of the faithful. word of Christ in his meal at the font in his house. Thanks be to God. Amen. The peace of God which passes understanding keep our hearts and minds in true faith to life everlasting. Amen.
Create in me a clean heart of God, and renew a spirit within me. Bless the Lord in flesh to enlighten a world darkened by sin with his grace. Visit us with his gifts of forgiveness and life that our way may be glorious with his salvation. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Almighty Lord, your son's cross and crucifixion is folly to the world, but it is the source of repentance and forgiveness for all his elect. Preserve the preaching of the cross in our midst that from this life-giving tree we would continue to receive your faith-preserving gifts. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Almighty God, you have called us to be united in the same mind and judgment as in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Preserve us from divisions and quarreling wrought by false teaching and cults of personality and fix our eyes on the word of the cross. Lord, in your mercy. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son as the Savior of the world, that all the families of the nations might worship before you. Bless the families of this congregation with your grace and protection, that they might remember you in both joy and trouble and worship before you forevermore. Lord, in your mercy. O oh Lord, all kingship belongs to you. Rule over the nations for the good of your people, that we might live in peace. Lord, in your mercy. Holy God, your Son, welcome the sick, the afflicted, and those oppressed by demons and heal them. Have mercy upon all whom we bring before you in prayer and deliver them according to your gracious will. Lord, in your mercy. Almighty God, your kingdom is at hand whenever Jesus, our King, is preached wherever our Lord is, there your kingdom is. Bless those who receive your holy supper today that they may rejoice that the king draws near with his own body and blood for their salvation. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. almighty God, the fame of your son spread everywhere as people witnessed his miracles and wonders as he has wondrously saved us from sin and death, so open our mouths to speak of him to all who will hear. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. O oh Lord, Heavenly Father, we gratefully remember the suffering and death of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, for our salvation. Rejoicing in his victorious resurrection from the dead, we draw strength from his ascension before you, where he ever stands for us as our own high priests, gather us together from the ends of the earth to the celebration with all the faithful and the marriage feasts of the Lamb and his kingdom which has no end. Graciously receive our prayers, deliver and preserve us, for to you alone we give all glory, honor, and worship, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is truly meet, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For what had been hidden from before the foundation of the world, you have made known to the nations in your Son, in him being found in the substance of our mortal nature. You have manifested the fullness of your glory. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in Blessed is he, blessed is he, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. O Christ, the Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. O Christ, the Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. O Christ, the Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world, have thy
Let us pray. O God, the Father, the fountain and source of all goodness, when loving kindness sent your only begotten Son into the flesh, we thank you that for his sake you have given us pardon and peace in this sacrament, and we ask you not to forsake your children, but always to rule our hearts and minds by your Holy Spirit, that we may be enabled constantly to serve you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bless we the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his counts upon you and give you peace. Amen.